ABC, David again, back here for another vinyl update. Haven't done a vinyl update for a little while, uh, so it's good to be back finally doing another one. Got a little bit to show, not a lot, but uh, before I get started I thought I'd just give you a quick little uh, recap of uh, my record store day experience for 2014. Uh, got, out, got up and got out nice and early, uh, headed off to my my, lo my local favourite record store, uh, Red Eye Records. Got in line about half an hour before they opened uh, and actually stayed in line for about the next hour and three quarters outside, which was a little bit um, disappointing. But uh, the reason for it was actually they were uh, letting people in one at a time, single file. And uh, they had all of the records for Record Store Day kept behind the counter this year. So it's actually probably a, a decent way of ensuring that you had the best chance of getting what you wanted to get. Uh, it just took a little while to get in the door. <laughs> so I may not do it that way next year. Uh, may head somewhere else first and, and hit Red Eye uh, a little bit later in the day. But overall it was, a, it was a good day. And although this year I thought the list of records that they released, there wasn't really much on the list uh, that immediately appealed to me. Uh, so because of that, I actually only uh, picked up one record on Record Store Day, but still had fun with it, um, travelling around the city, um, looking at different different stores. Here it is. This is the, the one record that I picked up. It's Selections from Play All Night by the Allman Brothers Band. This was a live gig that they did uh, at the Beacon Theatre in New York in 1992. The Allman Brothers have been playing the Beacon and have been house resident band at the Beacon <laughs> for probably nearly 25 years. And this was actually the first time uh, that they played there. Uh, it was recorded and one of the members of the band, Warren Haynes, who was awesome, uh, this gentleman here, was in charge of uh, producing this particular release for Record Store Day. And uh, very famous record producer, Tom Dowd, who recorded Allman Brothers Band uh, live record uh, live at the Fillmore East was actually at the desk uh, recording this this show on the night and when Warren um, got the, the master tapes to, to work on them for Record Store Day he said that the, the live mix that Tom Down did uh, on the night on the fly on the, on the desk uh, he said they were that good that he nearly didn't need to touch them. Uh, so this is a really great sounding record. Fantastic live band. If you love your blues, you gotta love this. So there's my record store day uh, pickup for 2014. Uh, definitely looking forward to uh, getting involved again next year uh, to help support independent record stores. Okay, so here we go. Here are just a few, few more records that I've picked up recently. Uh, this first one, is one that I saw Gil, uh, King's drummer, show, and uh, got me sort of interested and I went and investigated it a little bit more, um, and really like it. It's a band called the Dum Dum Girls, and this record's called Too True. Dum Dum Girls, is, it's very uh, pop inspired music, a little bit of le electronic bits and pieces going on, um, very short catchy tunes. Um, very melodic stuff, um, very fun and up, upbeat sort of stuff. Uh, so definitely worth checking out if you like that kind of music. Here's the uh, the inner sleeve. It's just a good record. A lot, a lot of short songs. It's a good quick listen. Um, here's the here's the nice custom labels. So definitely Gil is to blame for. I mean, thank for this one. Here's a rock group from Sweden. Actually, Greeno turned me onto this band, and this is the first the first album of theirs, the first studio album of theirs that I have. Um, the band's called the Helicopters. How's this for a, how's this for a title for your first record? Super shitty to the max. You'd you'd, you'd want to hope that the music wasn't, and thankfully it's not. Uh, great band if you like really hard, down and dirty, uh, bluesy rock that's very unapologetic, um, this is the stuff for you. 
Um, it actually also is quite punk hard and punky in parts. Um, and the vocals uh, are sort of up and down. They can be extremely aggressive and thrashy and, and very bluesy and cool in other parts. So um, if, that's your, if that's your bag, yeah, this band is um, going to kick your face in. <laughs> but in a, in, a, in a good kind of way. I love these custom labels. Check that out. It's on the White Jazz uh, label. A band that's no longer together, unfortunately. But definitely one worth checking out for sure. Don't you love it when you're out looking at records and you find something that you didn't even know existed? I love it when that happens. Uh, that's what happened with this one. This is Beth Hart and Joe Bonamassa live in Amsterdam. Uh, Joe being a New York based, I think he lives in LA now, uh, blues guitarist, blues rock guitarist. And Beth Hart uh, is definitely a, a fantastic bluesy Janis Joplin-esque type blues, blues singer. Uh, didn't even know this existed. This is an amazing record, an amazing pressing. Check out the gatefold on this one. The quality of the packaging and everything about this pressing is amazing. Uh, each record, it's a th three LP set. Each record has uh, an insert, like this, really, really great designs um, and high quality stuff. The sound quality of this is amazing. If you want to check out uh, any tracks on YouTube, go ahead. Uh, but there's nothing quite like this um, coming through the speakers. And the inner sleeves are just on really heavy, thick um, cardboard. Really, really great stuff. Uh, if you like the blues, if you like soul music, if you like uh, even a big band sound, this, this group had uh, a, a horn section. It's just a, a really great listen. Okay, I saved something a little bit special for last. It wouldn't be an update from me without something like this. Uh, and let's face it, Whenever you have you seen me show a 45? Uh, an Atlantic Group 45 from 1979. And this is uh, the Blues Brothers Band. And this is a song called Expressway to Your Heart. And it was actually released as a single uh, off their compilation record, Best of the Blues Brothers. So this is one that uh, I saw pop up online and I wasn't even aware of the song being released as a single. Um, so, just had to grab it. This one's actually also a promo, uh, promo copy, which is even cooler. So how, how often do you see me show a 45? I don't really collect 45s, really. Uh, only when something pretty special like this pops up. It forces me to take notice. Uh, so that's, that's um, really happy to have that. And continuing the trend to finish up here, last, last but not least, from 1992, again something I didn't even know existed, is Blues Brothers Band Red, White and Blues. Um, recorded in 1992, this reassembled uh, the famous band Steve Cropper, Donald Duck Dunn, Blue Lou Marini. Um, Mr. Fabulous himself, Mac Guitar Murphy, uh, pretty much the whole crew. And this is them uh, playing a bunch of new songs uh, that are just fantastic. This is a really great listen. Obviously in 1992, uh, John Belushi had unfortunately passed away by this point. So Jake Blues wasn't on vocals, uh, but instead um, they had Larry Thurston singing and this is just fantastic it's just the perfect blend of Memphis Stax Vault rhythm section with New York City horns and um, Chicago electrified blues guitar again something I didn't even know was out there and it's it's a German pressing and it's on uh, it's on Weir so here's here's the label and this is extremely clean it sounds fantastic it doesn't look like it's never been played before, but it almost sounds like it's never been played before. So, really happy, <clears throat> really happy to have this one in the vault. 
and uh, so that yeah, this one's going nowhere. So there you go. There's another vinyl update. Thanks for checking it all out. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Actually, I've got a at the moment. I've got a 250 subs contest going. Uh, so if you want to get involved in that one, please do. I uh, already had a couple of responses, which has been great. So feel free to jump on board and have a crack at that one. Uh, so thanks again to all my subs. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. And we'll see you soon.